that's going to help him in contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him in contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. Toe bash. I don't know about toe that. Bash. <laughs> Super toe. Over the middle, here to Coates. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. And the offense moving quickly to the line. He's back to throw. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Down here in the red zone, you know your tight end's going to be a favorite target. Couldn't hang on. And sometimes they just have to get out of their own head because they understand how tight windows are there and how many bodies are there. And sometimes they just overthink it and don't catch the ball. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Well, any caused incompletion is good for a defense. But when you add to it, you get a little hit on the quarterback, knock him to the ground, make him think a little bit, hopefully knock him off his game, especially in a game of this magnitude, this tight in the fourth quarter. You've got to feel pretty good as a defense. And that is incomplete. Antonio Brown, the intended receiver. And now it's fourth down. What a Super Bowl this has been. And the biggest play comes now. It's fourth down. Here we go. It's Roethlisberger on fourth down. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off by the veteran, Leonis McKelvin. Well, I don't think we'll have to look very hard to find our play of the game. That was an absolutely monstrous big play right there. Backs to the wall. The offense has it in the red zone. Driving for the winning score. And he says, not on my watch. And that is one happy bunch on the sidelines. Getting set for the next drive, the tight end, Zach Ertz. All right, Charles Davis, what do we make of these numbers and what's happened to the big tight end here? Well, I think a lot of times we talk so much about adjustments and what you're going to do at halftime that maybe we miss what actually goes on because the sense is that, oh, they go in at the half, they just change everything. That's not really true. A Super Bowl-winning quarterback out of New York always used to say, you've worked all week on a game plan. There's a reason you have it. Just either play it better or make subtle tweaks to it. Otherwise, there's no sense even going into a ball game. A lot of times that's what they do. Just find a little subtle thing, one little change, and maybe it can make things a little bit better. So incomplete on first. Let's see what second down has in store. That one looks like he'll throw here. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. He was trying to get it to Zach Ertz that time. And it's third down. When defenses get to the quarterback that quickly, a lot of times it's called a jailbreak. It wasn't quite that fast, but fast enough that he had no time to look downfield and set himself to throw the ball. And as he tried to do that, he was hit, and it forced an incompletion. So here we go now. An extra defensive back in there on third and ten. Now Foles. And he hits his man, Matthews. Now hang on here. Timeout called. Timeout called by the defense. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. So after that big gain, let's see what else the offense has up its sleeve. They come out here in the eye. They're going to look to throw. Steps away to his left. This one complete left side to Green Beckham. Down the numbers. There he goes. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Doriel Green Beckham, 57 yards. And the Eagles had six to their lead. And that touchdown should make you feel comfortable. But do you really feel like it's totally over yet? Not totally, but I think you're pretty much there. Yeah, you've still got to make sure you stay with it, do all the right things down the stretch, especially on defense. But that touchdown there, you've got to feel good about your chances. And they will line up now for the two-point try. Time to his left. And he's going to go down. Can't get rid of it. So a sack on the two-point try. 
Tried to roll out, make a play outside of the pocket, but couldn't get it done. When you don't have a lot of space for your receivers to operate, and down there it's really condensed when you're snapping the ball from the two-yard line, rolling out, you extend the play, but you don't necessarily open up better avenues for people. And on that play, there's just nowhere to go with the ball, and you end up getting sacked. Shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look, and this is intercepted, and that should do it. A great read, and it's picked off. And his guys are going to take over at their own 48-yard line. Obviously disappointing, but you had to go for broke here, down two scores. So that forced you to make some throws you definitely wouldn't want to make. And I think this interception is going to pretty much write an end to this one. Here's Foles. Dance into his left. Oh, incomplete. A turnover would have really helped there. Almost intercepted. Instead, it's just second down. And we are back here. I'm Brandon Gunn alongside Charles Davis. So the offense takes the timeout. And now we're set to get going. And this looks to probably be the final play. One receiver left, three to the right. Foles. Flushed out right. On the run, he'll let it go deep, right sideline. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. And the Lombardi Trophy will rest in the city of brotherly love. The Philadelphia Eagles are the Super Bowl champs. And to the Super Bowl champions, they etch their name forever in NFL immortality. That's pretty phenomenal right there. It actually gave me chills just to hear you <laughs> say that because immortality forever and ever. When you look in the record books, you'll see this team, you'll see their picture, that your name will be a part of it. That's got to be an incredible feeling because it's been a long journey to get there, and now they get a chance to enjoy it. year just how everybody wants to end the year holding the Lombardi trophy what a season for them what a ride it's been for us as well here in the booth for Charles Davis and our entire crew I'm Brandon Gunn thanks for watching everybody we will see you next season right here on EA Sports